Hi everyone and welcome back. In this video we are going to talk about asynchronous programming. So in the, in the terms of JavaScript asynchronous means which is taking time. You are reading something from the file, from the network, from the database. That is asynchronous task. Okay. So how we are doing it, we can do it with the help of callback, with the promises, with the async await. So there are different ways of doing asynchronous programming in the right way. So the legacy one and the which we are using is the callback. So how we do with the callback? If you look at this for first example, it is not using any callback. It is reading files synchronously. Okay, it's not waiting for the uh, file to be done. It will block here until this instruction will be executed. So whenever you are doing a asynchronous task, always wrap it inside a callback or the promises or async await. Okay, first of all, what is callback and how it actually works? So we'll just look at this particular boundary of code and you'll, you'll understand what is a callback. Callback is something, a function being returned from another function. So this is the function two, what it is returning? It is returning a one another function callback. Then how we are calling it? Function two, argument and function one. So you can just replace this function one here also. So what we are doing in the function one is it is just taking this argument x and it is just trying to return console.log. Forget about this one. So what we are doing is function two, it is taking variable and returning a callback function with that variable, right? So same thing, this is the function definition, right? And here I started calling this function taking variable argument and the rest is the callback function. Now here you can do a sync task and once you are done return this callback. So this particular callback function will wait until this asynchronous task is done and then it will execute this console.log. So this is just a primarily primary way of dealing with asynchronous task. Other than that you there are many ways uh, we can write promises that we will see in the coming videos how to write promises. You read something, you define some function and return a promise from there. Promise can be either resolved and rejected. Rejected promise means you got an error, rejection. Resolved means you got the data from that asynchronous task. This is something like this. If I do, do some async task here. Okay, once you are done, then resolve that data like I'm resolving it an object if error comes then reject that either you can resolve and reject you can't do both at the same time reject with error now here inside this you might be reading a file I can just replace this with the file read logic And here, if I got the error content, then what I will do is I will reject this promise with error I got. And if I got the data, then I will resolve this promise with the data. And once you do dot then, uh, here I'm calling this promise for the five times. So I mean three times, you don't need to do it. So you can say, we just call this function states dot then that is fine because it is returning a promise if you just see this it is returning a promise and you can do a dot then promise dot all is when you wanted to run multiple asynchronous tasks in parallel okay here you are rejecting and resolving it so this is another way okay so there are many ways of writing asynchronous task we will be using async await in the, the future code which we are going to write 